Hey, we baptized a child in this congregation. When this child was born six months ago, I went to visit the mother and the father in the hospital. It was on a Saturday afternoon, and as I typically joke with somebody in the hospital on Saturdays, I said, you have a free pass tomorrow. You just had a baby. You don't need to be at church. And they said, oh, we're always there. We probably see them one week out of six. But they always participate in our worship. They told me what we preached on last Sunday, and they knew what I was preaching on the next day. So this child, who was one day old, came to worship the next day because we offered something to them. Uh, three years, four years ago, we decided that we were going to televise our service. We weren't sure for who, and we put two cameras in the back. And all of a sudden, we discovered that people were watching what we were doing, and we didn't know who they were. And we decided we need to do something a little bit different. Again, as I said earlier, almost every one of our new members, the front door of this church is our church webpage. The biggest front door, the, almost the only front door of our church is our webpage. You can drive, Andy. Okay. Um, so as we discovered more people were watching us, finding us online, we, we challenged ourselves to figure out a way to make that more interactive, um, to get people beyond simply watching a video online and take them into a place um, where we could meet them uh, and begin to interact with them. So out of that became, uh, came an idea to create an online community of people where we can worship, learn, and, and serve together. So uh, a new word for the day, we are creating an uh, asynchronic community and diaspora um, and when when Andy and I Andy used that word first and I said Andy what on earth does that word mean so Andy um, shared the definition so that means we are a community that operates beyond any one specific time or place um, we will meet together wherever and whenever faithful people are together The vision comes from the front window. At the end of your pews, you'll see a little picture of this um, stained glass window. It's one of only about 70 in the world. It's worth something over $100,000. It's covered in 24 karat gold. Um, it was created when this congregation was created in 74. And it has a couple things I want to show you. It says one thing coming in and another thing going out. In the middle is Jesus. On the sides are different people coming in. And the theme was this church welcomes women, people on crutches, a woman holding a child, a young scholar holding a book. Everybody is welcome in this church. But it has a flip side. If you see the four corners, it's selling ships moving away from the church. It says, go to the world. When you come in, it says, welcome. When you turn around, it says, go and serve the world. We said, we don't have to look for a better vision than that. It's already right here. This congregation um, started in 1836 with a circuit rider on the steps of the Cabarrus Courthouse. And in the same spirit is where we find our motivation for this new online community. We um, are, are doing something different, um, but, but now we are not riding horses, we are riding the World Wide Web uh, to reach new and different people. One of the things that we're trying to do differently is, as far as we can tell, every other online congregation, there are about 50 of them nationwide, are independent evangelical congregations. There's nothing, and they all seem to be built on the personality of one pastor we decided we would try to create something that would be very different, that would not be based on one pastor, because who would want to come hear me? But we need to use our different talents, our different skills. Daniel, Susanna, and I will all teach, preach, and lead this congregation. It's not based on one person, it's based on a multiple group of people. Another difference um, between what we are creating and those that already exist will be the way we worship. For a number of those that are already out there, it is 
um, a, a more contemporary style of worship, whatever that means. Um, for us, we are a traditional, orthodox, worshiping congregation, and we will carry that into our online platform. So we will, we will wear robes, we will use liturgy, um, it will be a traditional worship service that we are taking online. Um, typically, the weekly platform will include a sermon and a piece of music from our choir, um, and that's what will be a part of our worship. The one thing we're not going to do, the biggest concern of our congregation was, is any going to start wearing blue jeans and a black t-shirt on Sunday mornings? And we said, that's not who we are. That's not what we're going to try to be. We're going to be faithful to who we are and share it and think there's enough of a market niche for that. One of the other things we're going to do is serve. You'll hear more about that later today. Um, how do you sign up for a mission project? How do you know what's needed? If somebody signs up, we bring you a shovel, but we need two rakes. P how do you let people know that's available? How do we let them contribute monies uh, to missions on this? Missions is something that drives this congregation, and a major piece of this platform is how people, either in this community or wherever they are, may get connected in serving God. We're going to learn together online, so we will be creating different ways to do teaching online. Um, uh, the, the options are, are endless as the, to the different ways that we'll do Bible study together online, uh, but we're going to be doing that. You can tell this is an older picture. I have no facial hair, um, which is good. One, the other piece we're going to do is giving. Uh, Mark King is going to talk about this a great deal. As you eat lunch, we're going to fill this day with stuff. Mark's going to be talking about electronic giving. 30% of the in income to this congregation now comes through the internet. People contribute, they do automatic draft. That number is going up in a number of congregations in this country, that may be as high as 60, 70%. We had a book for sale a couple months ago. We had an 80 year old guy who said, how do I buy a book? I don't use cash, I, only, I don't carry a checkbook, I only use my credit card. I said to him, take the book, we trust you, send us a check. We're going to install in the next month or two some giving kiosk back there and back there. You can swipe your card, you can touch your name, and you can give money to something. That's how you do it in the rest of life. Why would you not do it here? The people who are most excited about that truly in this congregation are those over 60. That stunned us. So we are very excited about this new endeavor. We are gearing up for a Christmas Eve launch. Um, you will see later today the first draft of our web platform, um, and, and we invite, your, uh, uh, invite you to, to give us feedback on that. Um, so, so keep us in mind um, and, and share our Christmas Eve launch. Final piece, gosh, we're on time. We got 20 seconds. We are trying to do this not just for the sake of Central United Methodist Church, but for our annual conference and for the wider connection. Everything that we're investing in, the resources we're finding, the web platform, the web apps that we're going to do, we're going to make available to you for free. If you see something that we're doing that you would like to use, just let us know. This is not about us, it's not about this congregation, it's about how to reach people. We're gonna learn some things. We're gonna be on a very steep learning curve. We're committed to spending the next five years doing this project. We will not get it all right by Christmas Eve, but we will have successes, we'll have failures, and we simply invite you to join us as we continue on that journey. And we're